I'm, I'm tired of holding on to stuff that I don't use. I can feel your energy. Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be basically my 2018 beginning of the year makeup collection declutter. I wanted to just completely clear all of the makeup out that I, I just know for a fact that I'm not going to touch anymore because it's just taking up room in my collection and it's, it's there's no point in keeping it if I know for a fact I'm never going to use it. But we'll go ahead and get into the makeup declutter and let you see what I'm getting rid of. All right, guys, so this is my makeup setup. So this is basically all of the makeup that I tend to reach for more. I also have these two drawers right here. These are my actual personal drawers where my own personal collection is stored. This is the second drawer. So as you can see, I don't have as much makeup as most people do, but I still have a lot. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have this box right here too. I forgot to mention that to you guys. I just did a get ready with me. This is all the makeup that I had for the get ready with me. So I'm actually going to go over that first so I can empty this box out. And then I'm going to use this box for everything that I want to get rid of. And I also have some palettes that are off to the side, which I didn't show you where they were. And I'll be grabbing those and going through those too. These glitters right here. So I have two that are NYX which are these two right here. So these are the NYX Liquid Crystal Body Liners. Um, this is one also. I have yet to use these, so I actually want to keep these and use them. So this is a liquid liner also from Ulta Beauty. This is in the shade Rose Gold Glitter. I'm gonna keep this. I have these three liquid lipsticks from ColourPop. I just got these, so I'm gonna keep these. The next thing I have right here is the Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Kathleen Lights. And this is the color right here. I just got this for Christmas from my boyfriend. And it's actually really funny because <laughs> this is not the only one he got me. But I'm going to be keeping this. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and go through the rest of these um, all at once. Um, this is in the shade Cornelius, which um, he also got me double of. He also got me this one right here which is the Super Shock Shadow also, but this is in the shade Telepathy. And it's basically this metallic gold. I am gonna be keeping this. He also got me this four pack right here. So these are the shades. These are Where the Light Is by Kathleen Lights. And it doesn't have the shades on here, but two of them are basically the same ones that I already just showed you. But I'm going to be keeping these. This is the Excel Milky Fit Fluid. This is the high-end Japanese makeup that I used. I really love this foundation, so this is definitely a keep. These are also the Excel highlighters. And I'm keeping these. Basically, everything Excel is going to be a keep, so I'm just going to go through what I have. So this is the Clear Lucent Powder, which is basically the same thing as Translucent Powder. This stuff is so finely milled and amazing, so I am keeping this also. I also have these bases right here, and then this blush here at the end. This moisture base, smoothing base, and then this blush are all amazing so far. So this is the Just PG Mattes from Too Faced. This palette I just used today, but I can already tell you that I really, really like it, and I already like this palette smell way more than I do the Sweet Peach palette, so I'm definitely keeping this. This right here is the Hangover 3-in-1. This is almost empty, so obviously I'm keeping this to finish it off. I do have another one that I have um, in one of my drawers, but these are both a keep. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is just the light bronzer. This smells like a tanning bed to me, but I actually really like it, so this is a keep. This is CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I don't think I like this. <laughs> I think this is kind of one of those, it works for everyone but me, kind of like the Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> Part of me wants to try this again with maybe a different primer and on a different day and see if it works. But to be honest, I feel like if I use it a second time and I dislike it the second time, this is going to be a declutter. This right here is the Revlon. This is the highlighting palette. Rose Gold Highlighting or Rose Glow, I'm sorry, Rose Glow highlighting palette this does nothing like there's no this is like the most subtle glow which i feel like works for people if they like the subtle glow but i'm kind of one of those i want medium to intense so this is actually a declutter this right here this is the elf glow lip gloss 
This is a no for me. I really don't like this. It's really sticky and like gets really clumpy on the lips. I really don't like this. So this is a declutter. All right, so these three right here, these are Revlon Photo Ready Eye Arts. So these are three glitters and three shadow bases. I have only opened one of these and then the rest I had, and never used it. I only opened it to swatch it. And then the rest of these I never touched. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell myself I'm not gonna use it because I bought these months ago and still haven't used them. And I have other glitters that I like, so this is a declutter. This is the e.l.f. highlighting something or another. <laughs> I really don't know the name of this. Love it as an eyeshadow, so I am keeping this. This right here is the Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. I haven't used this yet, and I need more colorful eyeliner, so I'm keeping this. This is also another XL eyeliner, or well, an XL product, but this is an eyeliner. It's the 3-in-1 eyeliner. I like this. I like two of the three things in this pencil, so I am keeping this. We have the Tarte Shape Tape. So I actually did it today under my eyes using a new technique and it actually looked pretty decent. I'm gonna keep this. This very, very back row right here, I'm just gonna start from here and go up. This back right here is actually where I put my setting spray. So this right here, which is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I don't know if you can see that, come on focus. There you go. So this I got in a BoxyCharm. I actually really like this. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it has glitter in it, so I don't use it that often. I am going to keep this. I also have these two right here, which I'm just going to go over together because this is almost empty. So this is the Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's almost gone. So I am going to keep this. This right here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray this is a really good alternative if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on other setting sprays because this actually works really good and i'm going to be keeping this all right so next we're going to go through this is the foundation slash primer section this is the Too faced peach perfect comfort matte foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream whatever this is amazing um, it also is part of the Peaches and Cream collection that Too Faced came out with. This is one of my favorite foundations, so this is not going anywhere, and there's still a lot in here anyway. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade 110. I love this foundation, although I know a bunch of people who have dry skin don't like this. I actually really love it, but I use it with oils. I love this foundation, so this is definitely a keep. This right here is the BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. I actually really like this foundation a lot. As you can see, I've used it up a little bit but I am going to keep it. This is actually not a foundation or a primer. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid um, Highlight basically in Prosecco Pop, but I do really love this so this is also not going anywhere. This right here is the Pro Base Blur Primer from Makeup Revolution. This is also part of the same line as that setting spray right here. I think this is okay. I'm just going to try to use it up and get rid of it. This right here is the LA Girl Pro Cover High Definition White Concealer. This is just basically a mixer that I have for my foundation set. I do like this keeping it. I have this primer right here too. This is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. To be honest, I know a lot of people like rave about this, but I don't think it's that great. I am going to probably declutter this. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is just a green color correcting primer. I really honestly never use this and I need to start because I've had this forever and it's nowhere near even closely being empty. So I am actually going to keep and try to use this up. This is kind of like powdered face products basically. This right here is the Becca highlighter which is in collab if I can open it. In collab with Jaclyn Hill. This is a champagne pop. I'll probably keep this just because of how expensive it was so this is going to be this is going to be a keep yeah. So this right here this is a Tarte blush that I received for my birthday one year from one of my friends and I actually really really like it so I'm going to be keeping this. And this right here is a Sephora blush so it's in the shade Mango Beam. I'm going to be keeping this also. All right so I have right here this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow. I am keeping this because this was $18 and I'm not getting rid of that so that's a keep. These two right here are powders. This is the Too Faced Born This Way powder which I think we all know that I'm keeping this. And this is the Winky Lux powder in the, the diamond powder. 
I actually really like this powder and I'm going to be keeping it. This right here is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I don't know if you can see that, but it is in the shade Fair, there goes Fair Light. So I am going to keep this. I have this Wet n Wild blush and if you have been watching me at all ever, then you already know I'm not getting rid of this blush because this is my go-to blush. This right here is the Peach Blur powder. This is part of the Peaches and Cream collection. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I've used it a couple times and to be honest, I don't really see a whole lot of difference. All right, so these right here are the Stila glitters. I have the shades Kitten Karma, Gold Goddess, and Into the Blue. I have used all of these. I love all three of these. They're not going anywhere. This right here is the Temp2 BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. I am keeping this. As you can see, I've, I've used quite a bit of it. I'm gonna go over my lipsticks ne next, so I'm just gonna pile them all out here. As you can see, these are a range of a lot of the same. So I am going to try and go through these and get rid of some. Probably gonna be swatching these to make sure they're actually different. This first shade right here that I have is Aquarius 2. This is actually a collab with Miss Kathleen Lights. So for this one right here, I really like this. It's kind of just a regular nude, so this might be one of the ones that I get rid of. Zoe, get off, get out of the shot. Really? Please excuse her. That's Zoe though, that's my dog. <laughs> As you can see, it dries down darker than what the lipstick actually looks like. When I first apply it, it's too cool toned and too light for me, but when it dries down, that's what it looks like and it actually looks really gorgeous. For now, I'm gonna set this here as a keep, but if I find something similar, then I'm going to go ahead and probably swap one of the two out. This is uh, the Ultra Matte Lip in Ariba, literally the only red I have. It'll obviously be a keep. So this is in the shade La I already know I'm probably gonna keep this because this is very, very close to my actual lip color which means I can wear it to work so as you can see these colors are very similar but Lemire is a lot more of a plummy pinky shade for now I'm gonna put Lemire down here because I actually really like Lemire this is my Ofra lipstick in the shade Tuscany I already know I'm gonna keep this but I figure if I'm swatching all my makeup I might as well show you guys this too that bottom shade right there is Tuscany it is more of a plummy reddy color. This next shade right here is in the shade Strip, a warm brown color. So that one's actually gonna stay for sure. This color right here is in Little Stidious. Yeah, I don't know. So that this one right here is an ultra satin lip. I don't think I've ever worn this color. I actually think this is almost unique in my collection. It's actually like a shade lighter than La Mer. But you know, sometimes you need a lighter shade, so I'm gonna keep this one. And this right here is in the shade Bumble. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this because it's one of my favorite shades. But just to swatch it for you guys, I'm keeping that for sure. This one right here is in the shade Speed Dial, and I actually think this one's very close to Strip. So this is actually a little darker than Strip, so I'm gonna keep this one also. This one is in the shade Wild Nothing. I've worn this a few times, but I haven't really touched it since. So this shade is really close to the Ofra shade in my opinion, which as you can see, this shade right here and then the Ofra shade is right here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and toss Wild Nothing. This is in the shade Take Five, so let's go ahead and swatch this. I like it, but I feel like it's really close to Bumble, but it's like a shade lighter than, than Bumble. I'm gonna set this down here for now, but I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. This right here is Moonchild. This is actually the Kathleen Lights. I, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad either. So this is basically a gloss. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it does have glitter in it. And I do think I'm going to keep this because I don't have very many glosses in my collection. This right here is in the shade Flutter. This is a metallic lip. This is Flitter, not Flutter. So I'm actually going to keep Flitter. This right here is in the shade Queen. I don't know if you can see that, but this is another metallic lip by ColourPop. So... Go ahead and swatch that. I think this, if this is the one I'm thinking of, this feels, yeah, this one's actually really drying. Oh, it's kind of burning my skin a little. I'm actually gonna throw this one away. This is nine to five. This is a ultra glossy lip. So that's it down there at the bottom. It's really pretty, but I actually think it's gonna be very close to the Pretty Vulgar. Let me, let me swatch the Pretty Vulgar with this. I'm gonna set this here. So this is the Pretty Vulgar. This is in the shade Secret Sabotage. So the um, Secret Sabotage is at the bottom and the nine to five, that is actually darker. So I'm actually going to keep both of these. This one right here is Treat Wave. This is another metallic lip. The Treat Wave and the um, Secret Sabotage from Pretty Vulgar are basically the exact same color. So I am gonna to toss out of these. 
I know for a fact that I'm going to keep these two. I'm gonna keep take five. So I'm gonna I'm gonna toss Aquarius two because I feel like Lemire. I feel like I hardly ever wear Aquarius two. Aquarius two, and I wear Lemire way more. So that one I'm keeping. I am gonna keep little Stitious. I'm gonna keep Oprah two. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe this off and move on. Some concealers here. I'm probably gonna keep all three of these because I have other concealers that I can go through and I actually like these. These are all liners and some types of pencil. This right here is the NYX Glitter Primer. I love this, so that's staying. This right here is the NYX Wonder Pencil. This is basically a um, concealer pencil and I, I grabbed it and it works really good, but I never reach for it, so. This right here is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in the shade Black, which is Swerve the name of it. I don't like this. It doesn't work as well as my other ColourPop eyeliner, wherever that's at. But yeah, we're gonna get rid of that one. This white one right here, when I first bought it, it actually is came broken. Um, oh, even better. You can see part of it in my hand. So I'm actually gonna toss this. This is gonna be trash. This right here is the Winky Looks Eyebrow Pencil. I think we all know that this is not going anywhere. L'Oreal Invaluable Super Slim Eyeliner. This is amazing. This is actually the second one I bought. The first one dried out on me, unfortunately. This is the second one I bought. I love that. That's staying. This right here is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. I actually just recently bought this and I've only used it one time, so this is not going anywhere. I am keeping this. This right here is the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Prance, I believe. Yes, Prance. This is just a blue shade. It's not dry, but it, it doesn't go on my eyes very well, so... Uh, do I want to keep this? No, I never reach for it. I'm just going to make this easy. These are all lip liners <laughs> that I have, so I'm not getting rid of any of these. The only one that I may declutter is this one right here, which is the Jante Bleu. Actually, I am decluttering it. This is in the shade Spice. We got this in the October Boxy Charm, and this lip pencil is just really drying on the lips, so. And last but not least, and I do have another um, mascara that's actually on my desk. Because I used it today, it's the um, It Cosmetics Superhero. That one's staying. This one right here is the Tarte Tardiest, Tarte Tardist, whatever this is called. I don't really like this, to be honest. Um, it's very pigmented. It definitely makes your lashes longer, but there's no volume whatsoever with this. I might keep this and maybe just mix it with another mascara. These two right here are my ride or die. This is the Voluminous Base, L'Oreal Voluminous Base, basically lash primer. And this is the Lash Paradise, Voluminous Lash Paradise. These are definitely staying. All right, everybody, so that is it. As you can see, some of my go-to is not even really a go-to because I had to get rid of it. I will be back with the top drawer that I showed you earlier. This is all my foundations that I have in here. I really love this foundation, but for whatever reason, it looks darker than it used to. So I'm wondering if maybe something happened here. As you can see, that looks quite a bit darker now. So I actually, unfortunately, think I'm gonna let this go. So these two right here, I haven't touched these in forever. I think I'm gonna keep the Infallible Pro Glow. It's full cut. I'm gonna keep this one too. The Wet n Wild foundation is a really good one. I'm gonna keep this one also. This right here is the Elf foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain, but I haven't reached for it in so long that really there's no excuse for me to keep it at this point. These are both the Maybelline Fit Me. One is the Matte and Poreless and the other is Dewy Smooth. These are really good, really good foundations, but I have so many. I haven't reached for them in so long that I, I just need they need to go. This is the last foundation that I have. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion. This is amazing. So this is literally a cushion foundation. Let me make sure that this still matches my my skin. Oh, I think it's dry. Aw. Uh, I'm gonna actually have to let this go. See, this is exactly why we're here because I have too much makeup that I don't use and I have to throw it away. We have this right here. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. This is a matte in the shade, uh, matte cheek in the shade Holiday. I'm gonna be keeping this. This right here is a ColourPop Shadow. This is in the shade um, Aphrodisiac. This is also a matte cheek. I'm going to be decluttering. This right here is a Bodyography. This is also very, um, like a cream blush. Oh no, it's dry. Well, this is gonna be a throwaway. Next blush that I have here, this is the Loose, Luminous Loose Blush by Studio Makeup. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Like it enough that I am gonna keep it. This is a mineral infused face primer by e.l.f. 
I like this, but I have so many primers and I never use them that I am gonna just declutter this. This right here is the RCMA powder. I am keeping this. This is also the e.l.f. Um, this is the trans, basically the translucent powder. I am gonna keep this. This right here is an e.l.f. palette. This is the illuminating palette. I don't even think you can see the shot. There's like such a small sheen here that it's it's not worth me keeping. This is the Alouette face paint. I actually really, really like this, but this is just kind of a pain in the ass to use. So I'm going to just... All right, so these are three highlighters. So this one right here is in the shade Scrumptious. Of course, the camera is gonna not catch it. This one right here is in the shade Glazed. That is a really pretty gold highlight. I don't think you can see that either. I think I'm gonna set these two to the side because I might just really not even keep either one of those. So this one right here is in the shade Flexitarian. That's like a very, very beautiful champagne. I am for sure keeping Flexitarian. I'm going to go ahead and let the other two go. Next highlighter, this is the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss. This is in the shade Ice Kiss. So this is just a white highlighter. Very, very pretty highlight. I am keeping this for sure. This is the e.l.f. Um, contour palette. I actually am pleasantly surprised with this palette. So I am going to be keeping this one. This is the Wet n Wild color icon. This is the bronze. Bronzer. I've had this for a while. This is good, but it's not worth keeping. This is the Artist Couture Illuminati highlighter. I am keeping this. These are concealers that I have. This Sephora one is okay. It's a little bit too pink toned for me, so I am going to just go ahead and toss it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade Fair. This is a tad bit too dark to be a fair shade. I think I'll keep this one. This also Maybelline um, Age Rewind. I actually really like this. As you can see, I've, I've used this quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one also. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. It leaves a really pretty luminous finish, but it's, it's not... It's not worth me keeping. All right, so this first one, because it's the first one I've seen, this Tardis lip paint is absolute trash. Who said you could come over here? This is the Urban Decay um, lipstick. This is in the shade Plague, which is just, it's actually a really pretty, like, pinky purple. It's not too cool toned, which is why I really like this. So I am actually going to keep this. So I have this right here. This is the Bronx Colors Matte Lip Tint. This is in the shade Dark Mauve, I think. I never wear this. The L'Oreal Invaluable Paints. This is the Metallics. This is in the shade Liquid Venom. I actually really love this color. Keep that one. These are the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids. These two colors, I'm pretty positive I have in my ColourPop collection. So I'm going to toss those. This color is actually pretty different and I actually really like that color. So I'm gonna keep this one also. This right here is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is in the shade Fab Five. This is just a really dark plummy color. I am gonna keep this. I do have a Revlon here. This is the Revlon um, Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. After swatching all of my ColourPop, I have so many other colors that I could wear that I really don't need to keep this. These are all little mini Smashbox. This is in the shade Fig. So it's like a really pretty like plummy purple. But I'm not a huge just basic lipstick wearer. This right here is in the shade Famous. I kind of feel like I might keep this one because that's a little like peachy nude color. I actually like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep famous. Um this one right here is in the shade Primrose. This is just like a basic pink nudie color. So there's that one. I'm tossing this one too. This right here is called es es Espior. S4, I don't know. This I bought in Korea. This is a actual mint lipstick. I have yet to use it. That's the color of it. It's actually really, really pretty. I wanna keep this for like more colorful looks. Jesus. Okay, tell me how you really feel. So I have some Morphe liquid lipsticks right here. This one right here is in the shade Peanut. Um, I do have colors from ColourPop that look very similar to this, so I'm gonna toss that Morphe one. This is Morphe in the shade Sasha right here. And this is like a little too cool toned, I think, and I never reach for it anymore. It's a really pretty color. I tend to look very cold if I'm wearing cool toned lips. So I, I think I'm gonna toss this too. This one right here is in the shade Mood. This is like a plummy purple color. I already know I don't like this because it's very patchy. So I'm tossing this one. This is in the shade Hollywood. This is a really pretty like purple too, but this is actually patchy on the lips as well. So I'm, I'm gonna toss this too. This one right here is in the shade Fatty. I think this one is actually a really good one, but 
very similar to everything else I own. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this one too. This is my NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is so old and this is supposed to only be for six months. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure this needs to be tossed out. Really pretty. But this probably would have been perfect for fall, but I didn't even reach for it. And it's definitely way past six months. So I'm going to toss this. This right here is the NYX Cosmic Metals. These are definitely older than... Oh, these are probably still okay. This is supposed to be 18 months. I probably am over the 18 months, but I don't think this is going to be bad. I'm going to try and swatch these for you. These are gorgeous, by the way. It's super neon, though, which is not something I go for. I'm going to I'm gonna keep this. All right, so this right here is the NYX Cosmic Metals. This one is the shade, where is this at? Solar Energy. So this is basically similar to the pink one, but it's orange. So as you can see... That's what that one looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one too. This right here is Makeup Revolution um, Lip Euphoria. I forgot what shade. This is in the shade Karma. This is very similar to Pina also. And it's definitely similar to colors I already have. So I'm going to toss this one as well. This right here is Max. This is in the shade High T. I'm going to see as I was. I'm not going to do anything with that, apparently. I don't even really care for the color, so, and I just broke it. So I'm gonna throw this away. So these are the last three right here. This Huda Beauty, this is a lip strobe. This is in the shade Snobby right here. I actually really love this. I am definitely keeping this, but I will swatch it for you guys just so you can see. We're gonna start going back up here. Um, so as you can see, that's that right there. It's, it's beautiful. I love this. So this is a definite keep. This right here is models own. Both of these are, these are also lip toppers as well. So these were like a dollar or something like that when I bought them. This is in the shade Stardust and this one is in the shade Rose Comet. So let's swatch these and see what I think. So this is very, a uh, very sheer, but glittery. This has, I don't even think you can tell, but in the sunlight, this has almost like blue glitter in it so i actually like this it's pretty neat i'm gonna keep this and then this one is rose comet pinky with gold i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it though because i did just buy this we finally emptied drawer number one So these are all mascaras right here. So as you can see, I have a lot of mascaras that I really don't need anymore. I don't really care for this telescopic carbon, carbon black. It's super pigmented, but it's just too wet for my taste and um, it gets a little messy. So I'm going to declutter. These two Big Shot mascaras I actually really like. Um, well, I haven't tried the purple one yet, but I have tried the black. So I do want to keep these, especially the purple, because I do think that I'll end up using that later. So these two are Wet n Wild mascaras. I actually really like these, but I have so many other mascaras that I really don't need to keep these. This right here is a Marc Jacobs um, sample eyeliner that someone gave me. I actually like this, so I'm going to keep this. This right here is a Sephora eyeliner. I don't really care for this, so... This right here is the L'Oreal Liner Intense. I don't really like this, so I'm, I'm getting rid of this. These are two Juvia's Place eyeliners. One is brown, as you can see, and then the other is black. This is a really good eyeliner, especially if you like gel eyeliners. I'm gonna keep this. The brown one, I don't think I've even used. No, the brown one's still brand new, but I'm gonna keep both of them for now. This right here is the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. This is in the shade of blonde, but since I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills, there's really no need for me to keep this. All right, so we got some palettes out. So this right here is a Buxom palette. These colors are so pretty and really I just need to use them. This right here is in the Morphe 35U palette so I think I'm actually going to declutter this one because I have other colorful palettes that are better quality and I never ever ever reach for this. All right so this one right here is the Quintessentials palette. This is by Ace Beauty. I actually really love this palette. So as you can see the pigmentation on this is actually really good. So I am going to keep this. The two Juvia's places. This one is the Saharan. And honestly, I love this. So as you can see, beautiful colors. They're super pigmented. They blend really well. So I, I'm keeping it. All right. So this right here is the Masquerade Mini. It's so good. Like, and this pink is shimmer. It's got glitter in it. So the they're just really good shadows. And this one too, I actually really like this one because you have your um, neutrals. I'm going to keep this one. All right, so this right here is the City Mini Palette by Maybelline. This is in um, collaboration with Makeup Shayla. 
I have used this palette before, but I haven't used it on my channel, but this palette is really, really good, and I actually am going to keep it. All right, so this palette right here, this is the Golden Bar Palette by Makeup Revolution. This is basically a either satin or shimmer palette. It's really, really pretty. It, it's got really pretty colors in it. The pigmentation on this is really good, but honestly, I have a lot of similar colors and I never reach for this. So unfortunately, I am going to just go ahead and get rid of this. So this is the Sweet Peach palette. This is what this looks like. To be honest, I bought this and I really only used it one time and I haven't used it since. So this is a possible declutter. I'm going to set this to the side for now. These two right here, I still have yet to do the duping video on. So this right here is the Semi Chocolate Bar Palette, um, as you can see, and I haven't even used it yet. And then this is the Makeup Revolution version of the exact same thing, and I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to be keeping these because I am doing a duping video, damn it, I am I'm going to. This is the Makeup Revolution Contour Light and Shade. This is a complete and utter dupe of the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I might as well just keep this one. I've only, I've used it a couple times. It's pretty good quality. So this is the Pure Sore Diaries Palette. I like this palette, but this is a pretty neutral palette. Honestly, if I want to keep a neutral palette, I'm going to keep this one. And I'm actually going to go ahead and toss this one. So this right here is the Smashbox Ablaze Eye Palette. I honestly have not used this yet, and I am going to keep this for now. This right here is the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels Palette. I still have not used this since September when I said that I was going to keep this, use it, and then see what I want to do with it yet. But I am actually going to do that because, again, I have a whole new setup to where I'm going to try and make sure that I use more palettes. And I'm going to decide whether or not I want to keep this after I use it. But if I don't use it within the next month, this is going to be another one of those that goes. And this right here is the I Love Sarai Sahari. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't. These shades are really, really gorgeous. I never reach for them, but I want to put these in a uh, magnetic palette, which I'm actually going to order a couple off Amazon very soon from Adept Cosmetics. For now, I'm keeping this. If I don't use this within the next month or actually depot it like I say I'm going to do, I'm probably going to get rid of this too. And these right here are Super Shock Shadows. These are really good, but I still like only use them one time. So I'm probably going to swatch these and decide if I want to keep it. This is the shade Elixir. So that's like a really burnt orange color. To be honest, I have this in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to toss that one. This one is in the shade Jinxie. This is a really pretty champagne -y gold color. It's a very, very light wash of shimmer. This actually almost looks like a highlighter. I think I'm going to keep this one. This one right here is in the shade Paradox. This is another... Ooh, this one feels dry. Actually, both of these feel kind of dry. That's the shade right there. It's like a plummy, reddy fire color. I think I'm going to throw these two away because I don't think these two are good anymore. And this is in the shade Seeker. This feels kind of dry too, but not as bad as the other two. So I think I'm going to toss this though because I have so many shades that look like that. So this is in the shade Birthday Cake. This is actually a glitter. This one still feels really good. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, so it's like a really pretty rose gold glitter. I'm going to keep this one. All right, so, and then we're going to just go ahead and go back to this. And I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to declutter this. I never use it and I, I don't, I don't need it. We've really filled this up. So I'm actually pretty excited. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the last bit of palettes that I have and go through those. I'm going to go really, really fast through these. So this is the Blink BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. So to be honest, I actually really love this little palette. But if I'm going to be honest with myself, I have every single one of these colors in another form, in another palette. And I really, really don't need to keep this. This right here is the Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless. These shades are gorgeous. I love these two together. I do actually really like this entire kit, so I am going to keep this. All right, this next palette right here is the Winky Lux palette, and I'm pretty sure if you all watch my videos, you know this is not going nowhere. I love this little palette. This right here is the ColourPop Dream Street palette. This is not going anywhere either. This is a pretty unique palette in my collection. This right here is the Yes Please palette from ColourPop. As you can see, I've went in on a couple of these shades. <laughs> So this palette is really good. I also really love this. So I am going to be keeping this. This one right here is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. I love this. 
I don't think I'm going to hold on to this because I have basically all of these colors um, somewhere else. This right here is a modern renaissance. Um, I'm not getting rid of this. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I don't really care for this palette. I love the color range, but that's as far as it goes. And to be honest, mm, as much as I hate to say it, I think I'm actually going to let this one go. All right, so I have the Jaclyn Hill palette here. Um, everyone already knows if they watch any of my videos that I love this palette. It's not going anywhere. So I'm not going to talk very much about it. We're going to just keep going. This right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I am going to be keeping this. This right here is the Nude Rose Sculpt and Glow Contour Highlight Palette. To be honest, I like this palette, but the only shade I really like is this. And the rest of these are kind of meh. Uh, products for me so what I might do is just go ahead and depot this your Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette I love this palette I know a bunch of people have their issues with this and I understand why but I did buy this a really long time after the whole shenanigans happened with it so I do think that it might be easier to buy now and last but not least we have the morphe 35f palette what it looks like a whole bunch of shimmers with a few mattes here at the bottom. And to be completely honest, I never reach for this palette. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh my God, that's so hurtful. That's it everybody. So here is the, the box almost completely filled. It's not a very big box. So I really don't need to act like I did that much, but I, I, I do think that I got rid of a lot of stuff and I do think that I did really good. So I am pretty highly proud of myself if I'm gonna be completely honest. If you guys enjoyed this video, I really, really appreciate it. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share it down at the bottom. I would also really, really appreciate that. And if you like these videos, you can let me know too in the comments below. And with that being said, as always, I really hope to see you in the next video.